hello uh, good morning and welcome to this new video blog from l2 city technologies today we are going to talk about or rather share with you some ideas about how to more effectively and easily manage our patent categories their data and in the process share a few tidbits about how we can create the facilities that are already provided by Koha features that are already provided by Koha to further generate this kind of solutions See, that's the beauty that's the real beauty of Koha being open source with the code available to study and use and modify, especially use. We can reuse what is already there and make it into, make it into, make it into something new that fits our requirements. So without much further ado, let us get, it, get on with this. Basically, what we are going to talk about is how do we manage patron information, especially so we deal mostly with academic libraries. Academic libraries need to know four things, as especially for the student patrons. One, which category of students they are. This differentiation is often required because often colleges will differentiate in the entitlement the number of books or for what length of duration they can keep it or how many times they can renew it this kind of things on different categories of users like for example undergraduate general versus undergraduate honors versus postgraduate students and also between students and faculty members within students faculty members and non teaching staff so the number of documents they can borrow the duration of a length of in days that they can borrow it for the number of times they can renew it the length of the duration of the renewals if there is a fine that is charged if it the book is overdue how much fine is to be charged so all this need to be managed so to manage this effectively we need to create patron categories so just let's dive in and have a look so here already have it open in in case of this college mcleganj college we have faculty members we have library personnel all the library staff including the librarian we have the non-teaching staff, we have students, undergraduate general, we have students who are undergraduate honors and these are a couple of uh, temporary accounts we needed to create for, for them with this uh, temporary category. This will just go out in a few, few more days. Anyway, so very often we see that in uh, many users who are already using Koha, they would often generate 30, 40, 50 user categories. And we would be really literally like gobsmacked. Like, I mean, like, why? What for? Why did you do this? And the answer, unsurprisingly, is typically very simple. It's that, but how do we know which user belongs to which year, which semester, which subject? Now, this is this video is essentially about that. See, if you look in the, into the patron entry screen, so here's our patron categories. Let's go for UG General. This is a standard form, which if you're a Koha user, we all will know. 
We have seen it hundreds of maybe thousands of times. So here, yes, there is no option where which we by which we can directly add like what is the course of study they're enrolled in because all courses may not start and end at the same time. They may have different duration or lengths. We also need to know which semester the student belongs to currently because our returns should be linked to the end of the semester because one of the things that happens a lot at least here in India is that students need to get a library clearance before they can sit for their exam so that that means the no books should be due to deal with them before exams or before they leave college for the final time they have to get library clearance so we need to know all that there's no no real place to put it so what most users do is they just create one more one more course one more patient categories so here we're going to show that that is absolutely not necessary we can do it much simpler this is how we're going to use these two fields okay now this looks like free form field so you can basically type whatever useful or rubbish you want instead we are going to convert them into control vocabulary just let me do something i had this waiting for some time okay that's taken care of and we already have something built for you to show you just a small bit of jquery code that's in the we have placed it in our internet users js it's modified so we need to save it and let us reload this so we go all the way down once again oh two things have happened instead of sort one it says program enrolled and instead of sort two it says semester now UG general this they, they they only have bachelor of arts general studies so program enrolled there's no much not much option here and semester they have this Semester one and two, three and four, five and six. So basically three years of studies. Now let us just do something. So here you also see, you can see if you look at the address, the address bar, the URL. So this is our STD UGG, the student UG general. It's a mnemonic, it's a control vocabulary. Now control vocabulary and mnemonics, mnemonics are something that will be absolutely uh, library science students should or professionals should be absolutely at home with nothing much to explain so we use that and we did this now suppose it was by mistake we chose UG general but we really meant to have UG honors so which can still go and change it here now one thing you see this is this went away and then they came back let's see what happened now wow so instead of UG general we now have all the honors courses this is a small college so it's a general liberal arts degree college and we have the semester easy peasy if it was a faculty member then we have a different problem it's no longer program enrolled it's now which department they belong to like English department or department of sociology or department of uh, let's say econ economics or department of geography and they won't be having semesters they would have what they would have designations an associate professor a reader a professor a part-time teacher a guest faculty so let's see if we can do that again it's fetching data and these are the departments in this particular college right so we can select any one of them so you can say, say geography the user belongs to the department of geography is a faculty and here's the designation so 
assistant prof professor. Similarly, if you look at non-teaching, again, it's been removed. Part-time, casual, office stuff. Now, this is no hard and fast rule that we have to do it exactly like this. It is in case with this library who, where we were asked that this should be the three categories and that's what we did. So, thanks, I just needed a sip of water there. Okay. And then the des designations. Again, if I shift to student honors, it becomes program enrolled and semester. So the whole thing becomes extremely flexible. Okay. Now, you might ask where are we are getting this data from? How are we changing this data? The data, and here I said I'm going to introduce some concepts of reusing Koha's own cap capabilities. Well, what we have used here to power our jQuery output are reports, Koha's own reports. So you saved. And here we have something we call data tools. See, it's, it's very imaginative, I know. Get sort one, get sort two, right? So, and this is the JSON URL. So if you run this, we get this. Let me expand it for you. So, so internally, as you can see, all of this is in sort one, but they are using this mnemonics and this mnemonics is what helps us filter the data. And quite similarly, So you have semesters, you have the designations, all of this. And if you want to see what it is, there you go. Select authorized value as value, lib as description, from authorized values where category B sort to order by authorized value. That's it. Simple. It's a simple SQL query. It's a stored SQL query and the way we are being able to use is by making sure that the report is public. Yes, that's the catch. By making the report public, we are exposed the report to what? Koha's report web service, the SVC web SVC web service, the report web service, the report web service that Koha pro provides. And using jQuery to handle these fields based on what you select in the category we are able to do this. Makes it simple, makes it easy, makes it compliant, makes it near about error free. And basically makes life in general a lot easier for our users. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.